Tokyo is one of the best places to shop in the world, period. Imagine a place where you can buy pretty much everybody else's stuff, plus all of the Japanese stuff. It's pretty amazing to say the least, and while there's no shortage of places to go, within the last few years, a slew of new malls have been built to cater to the ever-growing tourism in Japan. However, if you're into street fashion, one location has just opened up that may take the reins from Harajuku as one of the best places to shop bar none in Tokyo proper. I'm your boy Reggie Casual, and this is Parko. Now let's start by saying that it literally has every street fashion shop and or brand you can think of. High-end, mid-tier, vintage, fast, doesn't matter. Two levels of food courts, one in the basement, one on the seventh floor, an esports cafe, an outside balcony area, and a place where you can sell your clothes, a rinkan where you can just sell. That's it, that's all its purpose is. And on top of all of that, a massive game floor that houses the Nintendo store, which is huge, the Pokemon store, which is equally huge, a jump store, which has a life-size Super Saiyan Goku in front, a Capcom store, it's bonkers, and a circus in a fantastic way. As far as fashion shops you'll be met with, of course you get your typical Gucci, Comte des Garçons, and Dior, but it also houses favorites like Undercover, Ground Wide, The North Face, Billionaire Boys Club, Bait, Sneaker Shop, Sakai, Nubian, Ambush, Better Better Jean, Onitsuka. You literally can't name them all. There's so many. And if you're not looking to spend major cash, Parco has you covered. As you go up the levels, you're met with a lot of brands and select shops with fair price points. There's actually an area called the Parco Cube that houses small boutiques and shops from smaller, more niche labels. So there's pretty much something for everyone at every budget level. There's so much to explore in Parco that I'm not sure you really get a sense of it with the first time going. It positions itself exactly where it used to be as far location wise, but takes up so much more real estate that once you realize just how enormous it is, you'll certainly be overwhelmed. And lest we forget the Parco Museum that promises to showcase artists both classic and new. Now the invitation only event that I went to showcased Akira and doled out limited edition tees and other merch as well, making for some potentially crazy limited items and an unmissable gallery. Parco nearly, very nearly renders Harajuku as a whole obsolete for those who don't wanna search high and low for the best Japan has to offer. Sure, if you wanna see the hidden, more intimate stuff, you'll still have to traverse the alleyways of Harajuku. That's just what Harajuku is, but that's more for intense fashion heads. And if you're thinking about shops like Neighborhood Supreme and Bape that make Harajuku Harajuku, well, Shibuya proper where Parco is situated also has those same shops. In fact, Bape is literally right outside of Parco. Supreme is right up the block and around the corner, as well as many other stores like Kith, Ragtag, Double Taps, all in a concentrated area. Not to mention you have both Hikarie, another mall, the new Shibuya Scramble, yet another mall, that has a top-down view of Shibuya on the roof, no less, all in the same area as Parco. It's safe to say that Shibuya is definitely priming itself for a return to form before the 2020 Olympics, albeit a bit more international friendly, which comes with a few caveats, some minor, but others a bit more problematic. While Parco is definitely going to be a dope spot to go to for shopping, one has to wonder how this is going to play out for smaller, less established brands, particularly those located in Harajuku. Now, it's easy to forget that when a location offers everything you need, like Parco, other areas will suffer. And that is the case with Harajuku as many shops are closing or simply migrating to Parco, like one of my favorite shops, Fan, which houses acronym and Almost Black, among others. Also, because Parco is centrally located among all these other stores, you can expect crazy choke points and even more crowdedness when rare or exclusive drops happen. On top of that, 
in Shibuya, which is already well documented as being crowded. And Parco is certainly positioned as the hype mall that will attract nearly all the people involved in that culture, which will definitely cause major issues if they don't have contingency plans in place. So we can expect lines, raffles, and unbearable weekends filled with these kind of individuals. And on top of that, so shite, imagine everything that I just told you in 2020 when the Olympics come to Japan and the whole world gets to see this. We all know Japan is known for its shopping culture, so expectations are really high. But that being said, Parko Shibuya does have a ton of promise. It clearly has the best floor space of any mall I've been to in Japan besides maybe Ginza 6. So while it's easy to celebrate Parko Shibuya because it really is amazing, it comes at a cost. And if you want a more intimate experience rather than staying in a mall the whole time, Parco might not be the best way to spend your time. And that's what it comes down to. How much time do you have? Even with all the great shops, Parco might be so crowded, especially next year, that it might just be too much of a hassle. But again, it's totally up to you. And if you just go to Parco, you are missing out on some of the more lesser brands, for lack of a better phrase. That being said, that's Parco. Well, tell us what you think of this new location in Tokyo in the comments. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and follow us on Instagram to get the latest out of Japan or wherever else we may be. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it casual. And I'll see you guys in a minute. That sounds good. Okay. You guys have no idea. There's like a big light in my face. I feel like I'm turning into Michael Jackson.